on the quiz tomorrow, the 15th, some of them are going to be really, really simple. Not all of them, but some of them are going to be really simple as question number one. I noticed that X, in this case, it's a radius because it's from the center all the way out. Then I noticed that 15 <coughs> is another radius, right, from the center all the way out. So I'm going to say X is equal to 15. That's it. One radius equals another radius. Another way I could give it to you guys, let me call this side wide, because I already used X. Let me call this wide, and let's call this side 7. And I'm going to say Y is equal to 7, because a chord gets cut in half when it crosses at 90 degrees with a segment that's starting from the center. So the chord gets cut in half, one radius equals another radius. So that's simple. <laughs> I don't know what you know? Okay. Now, question number two is not too much harder. It's not a simple number one, but it's not that hard. The way I'm going to be doing this, I'm looking at X. That's a radius, right? Because I'm going from the center all the way out. And I'm all like, I know a radius. I can let it equal another radius. And I see that right there. So I'm like, well, I'm going to say X, which is the whole radius is equal to 4.6 plus 8.8. .8. One radius equals the other radius. It's just that the second radius, I split it into 4.6 and 8.8, .8, but just add them up. So in this case, X is equal to 13.4. And that's it, right? Not too hard. We could have also solved it looking at my right triangle I could have solved it using Pythagorean theorem. I could have said 12.5 squared, yeah. bless you, plus 4.6 squared is equal to x squared. You can solve it using Pythagorean theorem, or you can just solve it by just adding the two parts that make the radius. Either way, we're going to get x is equal to 13.4. So some cases you have your choice, Pythagorean theorem, or add the two parts. Sometimes you have that choice. Not always, sometimes. Any questions on these two? Now, looking at these other two examples, I'm looking at question number three. I can see a right triangle. I'm like, well, I can do Pythagorean theorem. I could go 11.7 squared plus 14 squared is equal to x squared. <coughs> And then just work it out, right? Pythagorean theorem. Or, or I could have said, wait, x is a radius. I see another radius there. So I'm just going to say x is equal to 11.7 plus 6.5. Do whichever one you want. I'm going to just do the second one because it's easier to add than do the whole Pythagorean theorem thing. I'm going to say x in this case is... So at 18.2. You had a question? I was just asking. Later. So once again, some questions. Number three, you can do it by Pythagorean theorem, or you can just do it by adding the two parts. Sometimes you have that choice. Looking at question number four, X <laughs> is only part of the radius. I don't know the whole radius. I see that this side is 19.4, and I'm going to say this third side of my triangle is 16.4. This one, I don't have a choice. This one, I have to do Pythagorean theorem. And I don't have a choice because where X is, where X is, I don't know the whole radius. Bless you. I don't know the whole radius. That's why I don't have a choice. I have to do Pythagorean theorem. So I'm just going to go X squared plus 16.4 squared is equal to 19.4 squared. Right, 19.4 is the biggest side, so that's the one that left by itself. Let me get my calculator for this. I want to know what 16.4 squared is. So I get x squared <coughs> plus 268.96 equals 376.96. Point 
Let me subtract 268.96 from each. So I get that x squared is equal to 107.4, x squared. Now let me do the square root on that. And it comes out to 10.4. I run it to one decimal place. This one, I don't have a choice. I have to do Pythagorean theorem. 